support military might. Saint Elamine moved west, and her sacred name flourished among the artisans of Etruria. This text could move slower. This is where the story starts to get more complicated. Um, it gets really more complicated in the later chapters, and especially they take like an hour or so long. Well, not hours, so, like an hour or two long. The horseman Hanan's legacy lived on with the nomads of his beloved plains of, S of Sese. I should pronounce that Sese right now. The birthplace of the Knight Berrigan is now home to the renowned light of Aaliyah. The Berserker Durban's final glory was to create a warrior's clan in the Western Isles. Is this a blind run? I don't think so. The Arch Sage Assos is said to have retired to the barren wasteland of Nevada. I've seen him, Derek from Game Explain play on um, Fire Emblem, so. So, yeah, it's kind of regretful to watch it, but at the same time, it at least influenced me to play this game, anyways. The heirs of the champion Roland themselves became the lords of the Lycian League. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Anyways, Alib has enjoyed a peace that spans 980 years. You don't the game explained because the spoilers in the titles and thumbnails. How much longer can this peace stand before its foundations begin to crumble? This guy's really captured car and playing Awakening Lunatic Plus No Reset Classic. Oh man, if I tried that, I'm probably gonna screw up so much and it's gonna be a never-ending playthrough because I'll never be able to beat this in like Lunatic Plus. Deep within the Lycian League lies Foray, a land that has known no conflict for many generations but which now finds itself touched by a shadow of unease. Its beloved and benevolent ruler Lord Elbert has mysteriously vanished. as have a number of his sworn men, loyal knights who serve at his side. A month has passed without word from the Marquis. Rumors of his death abound. However, the Marquis' son believes his father lives, and he has vowed to find him. Marquis Foray's son, Elliwood, a red-haired youth who will one day become the finest knight in all of Lycia. His long journey begins here. Spoilers character hard mode. Chapter 11 Taking Leave. <coughs> Lord Elliwood, we leave on your word. I see. Thank you, Marcus. Mother. It's time for us to go. Elliewood, promise that you will return to me safely. I'm worried about your father, but if anything were to happen to you, my heart could not bear that sorrow. I know, Mother. Please do not worry. Father is alive. I know it. I vow that I will find him and return him to your side. I have your word then. Yes, of course. Isadora, I entrust my mother to you in my absence. Yes, my lord. I will guard her for her well. Mother, I will return. Rest easy. For that was fine on the final and easy, because he only says having accuracy was clearly a good idea. Takes one step, falls into the trap hole, dies. <laughs> well, Marcus, it looks like it's just the two of us. Not so, my lord. My man, Loen, will be traveling with us. Loen? That's reassuring. I've sent him ahead to the village. He hopes to seek out a few able men who are skilled at arms. Normally, I wouldn't venture forth without a larger company, but I bow to, you will, I bow to your will on this matter, Lord Elliwood. Oh, look, less than useful paladin. You mean Isadora? <laughs> yeah, I think Isadora was like... I don't know. But anyways, I'm sorry, Marcus, but I would rather not deprive my mother of even a single guard. 
The best knights in the realm disappeared within my fa with my father. Not within. If anything were to happen to my mother while I'm gone, I... I understand, my lord. Hmm. What's keeping Lowen? We've all heard that the Knights of Faray have vanished, right? Well, your misfortune is my good luck. I have an announcement to make. As of now, this village is mine. Grozny is, now, is your new liege. Now, bring every last piece of gold down to the smallest fleck. Man, that zigzags, though. Lord Elliewood, C Commander Marcus, I... Lowen, calm yourself. A knight must be in control at all times. The village is under attack. It's bandits! What? Bandits? Here? Are you sure, Lowen? This girl has more details. Funny enough, you're pretty sure his mother outlives them. <laughs> My Lord Elliewood! I'm the daughter of the village magistrate. My name's Rebecca. The bandits came without warning. They're stealing everything. I beg you, please help us. I see. Marcus, Lowen, we must aid the village. Yes, my lord. Rebecca, stay here and keep out of sight. If it pleases you, my lord, I would rather fight. I hunt almost every day, and I have some skill with a bow. Is that so? Very well, but be careful. Yes, my lord. Lord Elliwood, one more thing. There is another in the village who has offered to help. A traveling tactician who was staying at the inn. A tactician? Yes, my lord. This is Aperus. <coughs> Aperus. Do you know this person, my lord? Looks like me with green hair. I really need a haircut. <laughs> yes, I met Aperus during the trouble in Kaelin last year. A fantastic military advisor, if memory serves. If not for Aperus, the Marcus of Kaelin is granddaughter. Lynn might not have survived Lundgren's uprising. What brings you to Foray, my friend? Ha! Huh. Still trying about honing your skills? Of course. A worthy pursuit. Let's give thanks to Providence for our chance reunion. We have need of your aid. Please lend us your skill. Holy crap, there's a bunch of them. You have no idea how good Loan can get. Alright, so... This is the start of Elliewood's story. Now we just need to, like, see... I might as well advise um, keeping Marcus from fighting so often unless, you know, there's enemies attacking him. He's really useful for, like, guarding, like, you know, weaker characters, I guess, but we'll see. Anyways. Let's see how Rebecca can... Hold on. What's the range? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, let's see. How much? 7 damage. Awakening has such an overpowered, overpowered character. <laughs> I need to sink. Frederick, yeah, Frederick was also. Frederick was basically the Marcus of Fire Emblem of Awakening. And same for Seth and um, the Sacred Stones. Now let's see. Alright, you know what? I should probably attack with sword. Alright, that's good. <coughs> it's your iPod, he needs to sink. <laughs> um sure what we'll deal damage. Just to give like 10 EXP to Rebecca. Which will finish off 
There we go. Oh, he doesn't... Okay. Oh, yeah, the trees in the forest. That's right. Oh, no big deal. I was just trying to be safe. <laughs> Alright, I should wait here. Oh, shoot. He might attack the village. I better stop him. Oh, wait. Look, Dorcas. Can you believe it? It's just like that knight said. That's Lord Elliewood. So it seems. What's he doing? Hey, he's taking on those bandits. Protecting innocence, that's the right lordy thing to do, isn't it? Right, Dorcas? You talk too much. The lordy needs our help. Right. Leave these mountain weaklings to me. I'm Barter the Brave. I'm Barter Kings. Doo -doo -doo. Hey, Fire Lord, welcome to the stream. Rebecca, Elliewood, and Lauren are the best units in this chapter. I recommend keeping them. Barter is pretty good, too. Alright. Let's see. Dorcas is at level 6, so he's pretty OP early on. So I think we need barter to get better. So, alright, let me see. Let me check the range for these guys. Yeah, as long as I'm like as long as I don't be on here, I should be fine. Yeah. Alright. Now, let's see. Alright, I'm gonna move Dorcas up here. He's at, like, level 6. It's Lord Elbert, well. We've heard nothing but foul rumors hereabouts. All of Foray is worried for his well-being. We've heard to tell that Lord Elliwood is going to find the Marquis. This dragon shield is our village treasure. It boosts the defenses of the ones who use it. Take it, please, and may it see you in Lord Elbert's home safely. Alright, got a dragon shield. So now... Hold on. Let me move him here. Yeah, let's do it. <coughs> Alright. Now, we should... Sure, I think I want to have um, Rebecca get the ex more experience, so... Sure, we'll do it. Unless Lone gets a crit, which he didn't. Alright, and now we should just finish him off. There we go. And then we should have Border Kings take care of this dude. Alright. There we go. That's good enough damage. Try to keep her next to as much as possible. Well, she is. <laughs> Alright, and then Marcus should be fine. So, I'm probably going to have to leave him here. <clears throat> okay, the archer's running away like a real coward. Okay. I guess I'll have Elliewood attack. Yeah, let's go. Hey, Default, welcome to the stream. Uh oh. I think this is gonna be pretty bad unless, like, I rescue with Marcus. Oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. Power for the term courageously challenged. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> 